Welcome one and all to Resident Evil 2. High, of course. It lets me select the freaking blood color so this isn't just like something that they made up for reds. Come on. Red. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's special stars immediately began investigation of the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from
You okay? Still in one piece. looks a whole lot better than I could have. In fact, the pre-rendered backgrounds look exactly like they did on the PlayStation. I noticed something was wrong. The entire city was infested with zombies. The FMV could look a whole lot worse. The, um... Uh... So... Left C brings up the map. Right C doesn't do anything. Down C doesn't do anything. And up C brings up this. Hmm. Let's check out the buttons. <clears throat> oh, so Z and A do the same thing. difference between first person's third person aiming. Uh. That's just how the controls work. Not sure I like that style. Sound 
lot easier. It's not like this is F Zero X, but the sound quality is decent too. The effects sound a whole lot better than the FMV clips, though. I noticed something was wrong. The entire city was infested with zombies.
Does the um do the models look a whole lot better than they do in the N64 ver uh, uh, PlayStation version? Oh, he's not getting back up. 